Okay, um, sample and population. How to differentiate between the two? So, this is a conceptual topic in statistics, but all of statistics actually revolves around sample and population. So, suppose you have a big set. And you want to study this big set. Now, this big set could be anything. It could be um, a huge college or university. It could be a bank. It could be a city. It could be anything. So, you can look at the entire population. In other words, you get every possible measurement from this college, every possible measurement from this bank, every possible measurement from the city. But it's just too time consuming. Uh, the amount of resources required to do that um, c might be quite large, definitely. So um, we don't want to look at the entire population. Rather, we would actually like to get a subset of the population. When chosen appropriately, that subset is called the sample. If it is chosen properly, it is a best or it is the best representation of the population. Now, in terms of the population, if you collect a set of observations, you'd have a whole lot of numbers, and numbers by itself do not give information. So what we do is we obtain a parameter from the population. Parameter is any quantity of information. And I'd like to know about this parameter, which would give me information about the population. But unfortunately, we have already discussed that the population is quite large and there is no way for me to know the parameter directly. But if the sample is the best representation of the population, then any quantity or any similar quantity that I obtain from the sample would be an estimate for the parameter. And that estimate is what we call the statistic. The entire science of statistics revolves around finding such estimators for a given population. Some estimators are quite easy to find, but there are estimators that are quite complicated and you need rigorous mathematical analysis to actually find the estimator that will work for a given parameter. So, um, what we have to know is that you, what we are interested in is the population and in knowing more about the population or in wanting to know more about the population what we do is we obtain a parameter or we declare a parameter and that parameter would give us some information about the population but since we can't observe the population directly we get a sample from the population which would give us information about the population through the statistic which is an estimator for the parameter Let's do a simple example to identify the sample and the population parameter and statistic. Suppose researchers are interested in the average time required by a college student
to complete community service. So to find that quantity, which is the average time required, that is the quantity of interest, to find that quantity, researchers went and collected a sample. So to find or to obtain this information, Seventeen hundred students are randomly selected. And their average time for community service is found to be 80.9 um, full hours. So to complete a desired amount of community service, people took about 80.94 hours to complete their community service um, as desired by the college. So now the goal is to find the sample, the parameter, the statistic and the population. In the problem itself, what should the population be? What are we interested in? So population is all college students. because we are actually interested in college students. So the population is all college students. And the parameter of interest is the average time for community service. Now, I'd like to collect a sample and that has to come from the big set, which is all college students. So we selected 1700 students out of all possible college students. So those 1700 students that are randomly selected would become our sample. And what would the statistic be? The statistic is nothing but the estimate for the average time which we obtained using the sample. And that time was 80.94 hours. So that is an estimate for the parameter obtained using the sample. So that is how you identify the population parameter sample and statistic for a given problem of interest. Um, do one more example, um, but I'm going to make this quite vague. Um, the proportion of males who like to use um, the recreational facility at an or at um, let's just say at a gym or at uh, an to say at a gym um, at a gym in a university so 
statement says the proportion of males who like to use the recreational facility at a gym in a university, um, let's also say is 18.43%. Um, or which is nothing but 0.1843. Now if you read this statement, could you identify the sample, the statistic, the population and the parameter? Just by reading the statement. It is possible you can identify the population, the parameter, the sample and the statistic just by reading the statement. Let's do that. So let's say population. What were we interested in? We were interested in all males at the university. So if you know all males, then you can actually know the proportion of males who go to the gym at the university. So we'll say population as all males at the university. The parameter is nothing but the proportion of males who like to use the recreational facility at the university gym. So we have the population because the population is what we were interested in, which is all males at the university, and the parameter is the proportion of males who like to use the rec facility at the gym um, in the university. Now, how do we find the sample? If you observe closely, in that particular statement, I did not give a sample. I gave you a statistic, but I did not tell you how I got that statistic. So, do we know the sample by reading the statement? No, we don't. Therefore, the sample is not provided. It is actually hidden away. I did not tell you how I got that information. The statistic, on the other hand, is nothing but, um, I believe it was 18.43% or 0.1843. It is highly important for people to know the difference between a sample and a a population, a parameter and a statistic because the entire science of statistic will actually deal with these terminologies of samples and population and parameter and statistic. If you don't know the distinction now, it would actually become quite complicated later on to understand complicated procedures in statistics. So I hope you can understand sample population, parameter and statistic and how to identify them uh, from this video.